Good day everyone, I am Mark Joseph V. Camacho, BS Ed 2 Filipino. I will be your speaker for today's podcast. First and foremost, I need your ears from the start up to the very end of the discussion. We will be tackling about the two sports, volleyball and softball, that are famous not only in the field of world sports, but also in our country. At the middle, we will be tackling about the history of the two sports, how these two develop in our country, what is the status of the national teams in both sports, who are the notable players in each sports, and how to promote these two sports. So without further ado, may I call your attention as we will formally start the This Is The Sports Podcast. In 1895, the volleyball was invented by William G. Morgan, physical director of the Young Men's Christian Association or the so-called YMCA in Holyoke, Massachusetts. This sport was designed as an indoor sport for businessmen who found the new game basketball to be gorgeous. Did you know that the original name of the volleyball is Mentonet, and which was designed to be a combination of basketball, baseball, tennis, and handball? Late 1910, the volleyball was introduced to the Philippines by the physical director of the YMCA, Elwood S. Brown. After the volleyball introduced, the Filipinos started the game as a backyard sport and sooner or later as beach volleyball. The Philippines' style of volleyball inspired the Americans to create the three-hit limit rule. After this rule implemented, the Filipino players experimented with new volleyball techniques which came up to so-called Filipino bomb, or the set and spike. In this current year, the Philippines delegate with the national teams for both men and women volleyball participating the ongoing 31st Southeast Asian Games held in Hanoi, Vietnam. The national teams are too eager to get the crown or to be placed again. The women's national team hoping that they will be placed as medalists this year as they didn't make it last Southeast Asian Games year 2019. Meanwhile, the men's national team are also hoping that they would bring the gold medal this year as they didn't make it also. This means that the status of the national team in this sport is very strong and there's nothing can break the ties of Filipinos in this sport. There are so many universities participating in volleyball like Ateneo, De La Salle, Adamson, UP, FEU, UST, NU, and UE. In men's category, the players are Kim Malabunga, Rex Emanuel Intal, Brian Bagunas, Mark Jesus Espejo, Aid Joshua Ritamar, Joshua Omandal, and many more. In women's category, the players are Jessica Margaret Galanza, Abigail Maraño, Kat Arado, Elijah Daphne Santiago, Eliza Valdez, Julia Melissa Morado de Guzman, and many more. Those are the notable players of the national team currently competing in the 31st Southeast Asian Games. In promoting the sport, we should have solid plan on how to spread the sport like conducting a liga on volleyball and establishing a volleyball facility on each barangay. On that way, we can build a strong relationship and love towards the sport of volleyball. In 1887, the softball began when George Hancock invented indoor baseball. The game had it spread outdoor in the spring of 1888. Do you know that the original name of this sport is either mash ball, kitten ball, or indoor baseball? Later, it had acquired the name of softball in 1920. Late 1895, the softball introduced in the Philippines by English sportsmen. Some Filipinos sent to college in neighbor country like China and Hong Kong and taught their friends a little bit about the game when they returned home. There were two or three clubs established in Manila within a year. The national team of the softball both men and women category continuously starting and improving themselves in field of softball. The women's national team Blue Girls won a silver medal in 2017 Asian Championship. Meanwhile, the men's national team 
Blue Boys won also a silver medal in 2019 SEA Games. This means that the status of the national team in this sport is also strong. In women's national team, the players are Cheska Altomonte, Chelsea Suitos, Skyline Ilyazar, Jacqueline Pascual, Alisa Pintos, and many more. In men's national team, the players are Apolonio Rosales, Jasper Cabrera, Oscar Bradshaw, Roger Rojas, Anthony Santos, and many more. Those are the notable players of both men's and women's national team. We all know that softball has a wide facility and there's no opportunity to play the game if the place is narrow. However, we should also have a solid plan to promote the sport like a locating area per barangay has wide dimensions which to be able to play. In that way, we can simply promote the sport of softball. And that would be all. Hoping that you've gained knowledge. Once again, I am Mark Joseph V. Camacho. See you at my next podcast.